Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting. We will be going over the new Fantasy Cosmetica collection in collaboration with Makeup Just For Fun. I will be sharing swatches, looks, all of the things. I'm, I'm so excited for today's video, so if you are too, then just keep on watching. It goes without saying, but I absolutely love Fantasy Cosmetica. I have been on their PR list since the beginning. I've been an affiliate since the beginning, and I'm just so proud of how far this brand has come. And they are doing their very first collaboration, and they're doing it with someone so deserving, Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun. I had the pleasure of meeting Amanda as well as her husband in Las Vegas at the Creators and Friends holiday party, and they are both just the sweetest, most kind people. I cannot wait to share this collection with you. So this is the Enchanted Autumn collection and it will be launching September 13th at 9 a.m. PST. I will have all of the details in the description box on this collection as well as all the makeup I am wearing today. The first 100 customers to order the palette will be offered a piece of Amanda's jewelry that she created to go along with this collection. She does have an Etsy shop called Just For Fun Style. I will have that linked down below too. I chose these super cute earrings and these will be available to purchase on her Etsy store as well. Just to let you know, discount codes will not be valid for this collection. I do have a discount code, but if you're ordering this and throwing any Anything else in your cart while you're shopping the discount code will work on those other things this is very standard with collaborations so that Amanda can be paid for her hard work of course and this collection will be limited edition but let's hop in to some swatches and chat about this collection a bit more I first want to share these earrings just because I think they are so cute and I do not have all of the pieces of the collection so I will try and pop up pictures if I cannot provide them. So there are three necklace options and three earring options available in Amanda's jewelry collection. The necklaces are 18 inches and silver plated. The earrings have a sterling silver hook with a rubber stopper and I can tell you these are very lightweight. I'm super impressed. They don't feel heavy in my ears at all and I think these are so cute and perfect for fall. I did choose the matte rust and gray color. Next up there are five tinted lip balms in this collection and they are a bit different than I was expecting. I chose two shades. I got the shade Cozy, which is a salted caramel scented sheer mid-toned pink. And I also got the shade Elixir, which is a coffee scented sheer warm brown. Now that I have these, I've tried them, I might order more. They are so comfortable. I am wearing Elixir today. The coffee scent is so decadent. I love it so much. And then the caramel scented one, Cozy, is amazing and sweet and delicious as well. They feel very nourishing and comfortable on the lips. They have a nice sheer tint of color. I was expecting them to be like a twist up tinted balm, but I am happy about the squeezy tube as well. They're super easy to apply. My one qualm with the tinted lip balms is that the shade names are not on the packaging. It just says Fantasy Cosmetica Makeup Just For Fun Tinted Lip Balm. Now it does have a window here so I can tell that this one is cozy, my more pinky toned one, the one that smells like caramel, and this one is Elixir which is that more warm brown and smells like coffee, but I do wish that the shade name was on the packaging. Another piece of the collection that I do not have is a candle. The Whispering Woods candle has scents of woods and florals. I'm not sure exactly what the notes are on that. Apparently it smells amazing. It's one of those crackling candles with the wooden wick that was unable to ship 
to me because I am an international affiliate, but if you live in the US, you might wanna get that because I bet it smells incredible. I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's hop in to the Enchanted Autumn palette. This is Fantasy Cosmetica's second 12 pan palette. Their last collection had a 12 pan palette as well, which is a nice change up for the brand. Previously, they had only done nine pan palettes. As I'm chatting about this palette, we will have swatches and close-ups going on the screen. This palette will retail for $44.99 US dollars. And as mentioned, if you're one of the first 150 customers, you also get a piece of jewelry. Something I didn't know the brand was doing, but is such a smart idea. I actually had to message Jordan, the owner of Fantasy Cosmetica, being like, I don't know what's in my palette. <laughs> help and she was so helpful on the shade emerald I have an acrylic disc on here I thought this was maybe something that they used to press shadows and it accidentally ended up in my palette but no they had reason to believe that this shade emerald I'm holding it very strangely is a bit more fragile than the others so they came up with this plan of putting an acrylic disc in here and then when the palettes close it just keeps that shadow pressed in there really well which is such an incredible idea I had no broken shadows or anything even though this comes a very long way all the way to Nova Scotia the palette has magnetic Pan, so all of the shadows are removable if you're someone that cares about that. The formula is cruelty free and vegan. It is made in China but shipped out of Washington. The artwork on this palette is so stunning. I love how it definitely gives those autumnal vibes while still very much matching the aesthetic of the entire brand. I feel like this is almost like fan art for a fantasy novel. I think it is absolutely stunning. And then inside we have the color story that Amanda Makeup Just For Fun created. It is a very dusty fall color story that I think is so fun. We have like a mix of cool tones and neutrals. Some of these golds lean a little bit warm, but not too warm, honestly. I think the combination of neutrals and colors is so fun. When I was swatching this, there were so many shades I was absolutely drooling over. Fantasy Cosmetica also has a variety of bundle pricing on their website. If you're someone who wants the full collection, most of the collection, all of the lip balms, there are multiple bundle options for you. Overall, I am just so, so grateful to have been sent this early. Thank you so much to Fantasy Cosmetica, Jordan, and Amanda Makeup Just For Fun. I think this collection is stunning. This is just a first impressions video. I will be creating two looks for you. I will have timestamps in the description box if I can remember. We're just going to kind of play around with this collection together and make sure it's the quality that I've come to expect from Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm going to stop rambling. This is actually look number one, so let's go create that together. Let's start look number one with the Enchanted Autumn palette. My inclination with first impression videos like this is to try and use as many shades as possible, maybe do something a bit complicated, but I'm going to try not to do that because that's not how I do my makeup on an everyday basis. I am going to use three or four shades in this first look and try and keep things pretty simple. But actually before getting started, I want to use one of the tinted lip balms. I'm going in with the shade Elixir first for today. My lips are feeling pretty dry. Elixir is a coffee scented sheer warm brown shade, which I'm excited for. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like 
a cozy little coffee shop. Not like a Starbucks, but like a, you know, like one of those hole in the wall coffee shops. I don't know if that makes any sense. It smells so good. I wore one of these yesterday all day and it was so comfortable. I really enjoy these lip balms so far. The coffee scent on Elixir, fantastic. I'm first gonna go in with Willow Bark. This is a mid-tone mustardy brown and I'm going to put this everywhere. And to do that, I'm going to use one of Fantasy Cosmetica's brushes from the last collection. This is the EO5 brush. I have already primed and set my eyelids. I love warm grungy tones in the fall. I'm being a bit messy with this. I do want it to kind of extend out here. I always struggle with this bit of a winged shape on my right eye because my brow bone on this side comes down a little bit more. So it's hard to make the eye look symmetrical, but I am trying my best. I feel like that looks pretty good. On this really tiny, skinny angled brush, I'm going to take Long Leaf Pine, which is a deep green shade. And with this, I'm going to create a shadow wing look. I knew I was filming this video today and last night, I don't know, this look just came to me if you will. It's not anything fancy but I don't know. In, in my mind it turned out really good. So hopefully I can make that happen. I'm going to do a winged liner with this green eyeshadow. For this part, I'm just really stamping it in to my lash line. Now, the wing is going to be the tricky part. I'm going to have to get very close to my mirror. I'm really not used to filming these videos. Sorry if you can see my mirror. I had to bring it closer to me. So far these mattes are performing just how I have come to expect with Fantasy Cosmetica. They are all working wonderfully. This wing isn't quite as dark as I wanted it to be but I'm thinking it's kind of because I'm being a bit tentative with my brush so I'm going to try and pick up a bit more and really like layer it up a bit without hopefully without ruining the shape because I'm actually pretty happy with how this wing is looking with the winged out eyeshadow on like extending from my crease. So far so good but I do want this to be a little bit darker which I think layering it up very gently is working. Okay I'm gonna leave that there before I do that like meme thing where the wing just keeps getting bigger and bigger and now I'm going to try my best to match it on this side. Usually I have an easier time with my left eye. It's my favorite <laughs> eye for eyeshadow. Do you guys have like symmetrical features or are you like me where you try your best just to make them look as similar as possible? Okay, I feel like that's as close as we're going to get. They are not perfectly even, but that is okay with me. And on the lid, I want to go in with Luna. This is described as a shimmering yellow, leaning more brown with gold and silver sparkles throughout. I was completely mesmerized by this shade when I swatched this palette out. 
This is what it looks like on my finger. I think it is so beautiful. And I'm going to tap this on my lid. That is beautiful. I really wanted to go for this like neutral yet color, neutral in like not leaning too cool, not leaning too warm toned. Um, look, that was just screaming fall to me. And I am layering the shimmer over part of the wing like not being very precise with this. I think grungier tones just look so good if you have the illusion of a bit more carefree look, if that makes sense. I think that is absolutely beautiful. I'm only going to go in with willow bark here on my lower lash line. I'm going to keep my inner corner bare which I don't typically do, but I'm just really liking how this simple eye look has come together so far. I'm going to apply my mascara, which is the Kali Ray mascara, and I'll meet you back here to show you the completed look number one. This is the completed look for look number one. I know I didn't do anything crazy, but I just feel so beautiful in this look and I'm really impressed with the few shades that I used today. My lids are so sparkly and dimensional with the, both that gold and silver shimmer in there. On my waterline I did add an eyeliner. I put the Smashbox Always Sharp Liner in Penny Lane in my waterline and that's a metallic kind of coppery shade. I think that really adds to the look. I'm happy with my shadow wing. Let me know what you think of this first look I created. And up next is look number two, day two. I'm so excited to get back into this palette. However, once again, my lips are feeling dry as they were last time. So I'm going to use the shade Cozy of the Tinted lip balm which is salted caramel scented and a sheer mid-tone pink but today I want it to be a little bit more long lasting a little bit more impactful in that color so I am going to apply a lip liner this one is very teeny tiny I am trying to use it up I think I need to sharpen it These smell so incredible. Salted caramel flavored desserts is probably one of my very favorites. My wedding cake with salted caramel. These are super comfortable and nice. I just want to keep applying it. I'm loving this lip formula from Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm so happy it's a part of this collection. But let's jump back in to the Enchanted Autumn palette. And today I'm wanting to do something a bit darker and play with these like dusty purple shades. We will see what I come up with. I'm going to aim for a halo-ish eye. I don't always love how halo eyes look on my eye shape, but we'll just see where we end up. I am going to start with the shade Foggy, kind of messily all over my crease. Foggy is a matte mid-toned gray, however it does definitely have like a purpley tone to it. I'm now going to take the Fantasy Cosmetica EO2. This is a very small blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with our deepest shade, which is going to be Heron, which is a deep matte gray, but again, it has like a purpley tone to it. And this is going to be our darkest shade for our halo shape. 
I will blend it out after and I'm also going to put a and I'm also going to put a bit of this deepest shade in the inner part of my lid. Something like that. These mattes are pigmented but still seem quite easy to work with. I am very light-handed and I do feel like, especially with the darker shades, I am being a bit tentative with how much product I'm picking up. Okay, that looks pretty even and I'm going to use Dusk to, or not even in frame, Dusk to start blending this out. I'm going to keep using this same brush and Dusk is a mid-toned mauve shade. I'm going to start on the inner wanting to soften the outer edge of this halo shape we have going on. I'm liking how that's looking. I'm also going to put a little bit of dusk into my crease. I know not everybody bridges the mattes across the halo portion, but I personally like doing that. So I'm going to put a bit of dusk up here right in my socket. And then again, we will be blending the outer edges of that deepest shade. With no additional product, I'm going in with that first really big fluffy brush and just giving everything a quick blend. And I'm going to keep the line pretty harsh um, here on the inner parts of my halo. Am I making any sense? I'm not sure. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye. On my lid, I really want to go in with Scorpio. This is a deep pinky brown base with a soft silvery green shimmer. I feel like I should go in with Sagittarius for that more purple look, but I just can't stop looking at this shade. This is going to be very dark, but we will lighten it up with the silver on the very center. I'm going in with my finger and putting that over the entire halo and overlapping with that deepest matte just a bit. And then to brighten that up, right in the center, I'm going to go in with Libra, which is a metallic silver shade. This one is like very flaky and metallic. It probably would do better with a glitter glue, but I'm just going to see what happens when I press. Wow. I just want that right in the center so that Scorpio can still shine through on either side. That is beautiful. I'm just going to go in with the same mattes on my lower lash line, find an eyeliner, mascara, all that, and I will meet you right back here in a moment. Here is look number two. I really like this look as well. Um, in my waterline and my tightline, I have Urban Decay Perversion, and then I did go in with the same mascara, and all of my face makeup is the same as yesterday as well, and it will all be in the description box. Which look is your favorite? Look one or look two? I feel like I've chatted about my thoughts quite a bit throughout the course of this video, but I do want to have a little bit of a recap and a reminder that this is just a first impression, first and second impression, I suppose. This is not a full review. I have been loving wearing the earrings that Amanda has made to go along with this collection. They're very lightweight and beautiful. The tinted lip balms are a new favorite for me so far. I love the scents, the colors, the feel of them. They are very hydrating. This is definitely a win. 
but as mentioned in the introduction, I do wish that the shade names were on the actual packaging as well, not just on the box. And then of course, the biggest piece of this collection, the Enchanted Autumn palette. I used, I used eight of the 12 shades in the two looks I did. Obviously I'm going to have to use all of the shades multiple times before I come back with a full review, but I can say that this formula is the Fantasy Cosmetica formula I know and love. The mattes are pigmented yet blendable, even though when you touch them and swatch them they feel a little dry on my fingertips, but they don't apply negatively in any way. I really enjoy them and their shimmers are really where the brand stands out. I think all the shimmers included in here that I used are so beautiful. Libra is that more chunky metallic shade, the silver I used, and then Luna and Scorpio are just more subdued metallics, but they still have a lot of dimension to them. I don't know how to explain it. I feel so beautiful in both looks that I created with this palette. So once again, congratulations to both Fantasy Cosmetica and Amanda Makeup Just for Fun. I think this collection is absolutely beautiful. And if you are looking to pick something up from this collection, I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below along with which look was your favorite and if you have any look suggestions for me to do with this palette while I continue to test it out, leave some color combos in the comments as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this two looks, one palette style video with a new release. I was so excited to get this palette early and would love to do more videos like this on my channel if it's something that you enjoy. That's enough rambling for me. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!